Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hack Borderlands 3. Let's get started. So if you're looking to boost your character stats, get infinite ammo, maybe get infinite golden keys, then you have definitely come to the right place. To get started on this is actually pretty simple. Head over to flingtrainer.com. I'll leave a link to this site in the description below. Now, if you're curious about the trainer, we can take a look here. There are a ton of different options. First and foremost, infinite health, infinite shield, infinite ammo, no reload, infinite grenades, action skills with no cooldown, super accuracy, no recoil, rapid fire, super damage. And those are just the first set of cheats. There's also things like no overheating, vehicles with infinite boost, battle suit with infinite fuel, infinite EXP, learn skills without skill points. I wanna say something about that in a second here. Super speed, slow motion, super jump, edit golden keys, and so on and so forth. But really, once you're on this page, just scroll to the bottom here. The top most latest version is 1.0.7, and that was posted March 26th. All you have to do is click on this link and download it. It's not very big, it's less than a megabyte. If you are unsure, feel free to scan it for viruses. Now the file is zipped using WinRAR. If you want, you can download 7-Zip. I will leave a link to that in the description below. It is a free zip program that will handle things like zip files, RAR files, and 7-Z files. Now when you go to run it, it will say Windows protected your PC. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. If you click more info here, you can click run anyway. Do so at your own risk. You can virus scan it if you want. I haven't found any issues with this. Once this is up and running, you will see some flashing text right there. It's looking for the game. You won't be able to configure any options just yet because your game isn't running. So once your game is up and running, you can immediately start activating cheats. You can be in the middle of a mission and activate or deactivate a cheat. It doesn't matter. So for this, let's just do infinite ammo. Uh, maybe I'll do no reload on top of that. Let's do super jump because that's fun. Uh, maybe we'll edit our money. So it's already edited to max, so we'll just leave it at that. Or edit Iridium. Uh, max drop rate, we'll do a high legendary drop rate. And also open golden chest without golden keys. All right, so I'm in Sanctuary here. Here is the golden chest. Let's open it up. I don't have any golden keys, but that doesn't matter. And I can loot all of the goodies out of here. Absolutely all of them. Then I can let it close. And I still don't have any golden keys and the chest doesn't care. I can open it back up again. So it's opening again. I'll take some more goodies out. Fill up my inventory. You can sell this stuff if you want, although it doesn't really matter because you can max out your money with the trainer too. And should I open it again? Yeah, yeah, let's open this again. We'll go for another run here on the golden chest. See what we get. Just pick everything up. I can read it later if I really want. Uh, or I can just drop this or sell it. So that's pretty much it for the golden chest. Let's try this now in a mission. All right, so I'm in game right now. Let's check out super jump. And oh, that is a big jump almost off the cliff. So I think super jump is a, a, a pretty good name for it here. On top of that, I can also shoot to my heart's content. So you can see right now, 16 bullets, 984 available to me, and I'm not running out. I'm not going down in the current magazine or clip. And I'm also not, well, it's not really a clip on this, but anyways, I'm not going down from 16 shots and I'm not having to reload at all. On top of that, one thing I do wanna say, if you take a look at my skill tree here, everything is maxed out. Now, while this is cool that everything is maxed out, what's not cool is I still have skill points to spend. So if you do select the perk, level up your skills without your skill points, just know that you will run into an issue if your character's not at max level. After every level you get, you get to spend a skill point. But if your skills are maxed out, you can't spend the skill points. So they kind of just pile up and remain. Then in the center of the screen, right there, it'll say spend skill points and hit tab, but you can't spend them. So I'm in combat here, killing characters away, and you can see all of the great stuff that's left behind. So when I have max loot on and legendary drop on, you can see pretty much every enemy is going to give you a legendary item and going to drop a lot of loot. Now, if you take a look at my map on the top right, what ends up happening after a while is this gets really cluttered with a bunch of gold stars because after a while your inventory will fill up. 
so it's a really great and easy way to pick up items, but at the same time just watch out because you will end up with a ton of crap on your screen. But anyways, that's all I've got for today. Let me know if this is helpful at all for you in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.